The Lexington Police Force has dealt with multiple departures of fully trained officers within the last year. Some officers left for higher paying positions, while others simply chose to retire. Mayor Frank Friedman says it's a top priority to replace these officers. A proposal to increase LPD salaries by about 10 percent will be discussed at tonight's city council meeting to avoid future departures. A proposal to increase uh, the, the funding or rather the, uh, the funding and compensation for police officers. So we're hoping to keep and take care of our current and hopefully attract some certified officers in the process. Some potential employees have applied for a role with LPD, but the department has received only two applications from fully certified officers. LPD requires full certification, and that takes over nine months to complete. Sergeant Scott Fitzgerald explains the process is difficult and very time consuming. They'll start early January, uh, run 22 weeks, which is around June, July. Um, then they have to go take the state certification test and get certified as a police officer. Once they are certified, then they come back to the department and they run through our field training program. With the recent departures and the lengthy process needed to become fully certified, the current officers have had to carry the load. This means longer shifts and more overtime. Being understaffed, we're running a lot of shifts that are down to the minimum staffing of two and then we're having officers work a lot on their time off. They're coming in and their, their overtime is definitely increasing. Um, and we have good employees here. We have people that care. They want to serve the community, so they're willing to do that. Um, but eventually that does lead to burnout. They, they've done an amazing job uh, given the, uh, their commitment to our community and the efforts that they've put forward is just has been huge. The Lexington Police Department is hopeful that more certified applicants will apply. If they don't, they'll likely have to wait for the non-certified applicants to finish their certification process. In the meantime, the staff will continue to work long hours to serve the community. With the Rockbridge Report, I'm Ian Dardenay.